Hey guys, it's Clary Laid here and I have a method here to get the jump rope trophy on Final Fantasy 9 using PlayStation 4 remote play and a PC script. So I've done this myself, I can confirm it works and I made this quick video showing you exactly how to do it as well. So first off we have to give a shout out to Septimur, if without him all this wouldn't be possible. He's the guy who created the code and gave us all the tips on what programs to use on all the computers and everything. So without him this video wouldn't have been possible and I would not have got the trophy either. So really big thank you to you mate and a big thank you from a lot of the other trophy hunters as well. But we're going to be following his six uh, steps here that he actually put in the trophy, PlayStation trophies form. This is where I had actually encountered the, the thread about it here and where he had actually posted it now all the links and uh, instructions will be in the video comments but we're going to go through it here because there's a number of different things we can we have to do first and um, i wanted to create this video so that you could have an understanding of how to do it a lot of the comments in this thread is about people who aren't aware on exactly what they need to do now this can be done on windows and mac i am using a mac i'm only using a windows through boot camp so it definitely is possible through a mac now the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to download the playstation 4 remote play app App, which is luckily it's available on both windows and a mac so grab the windows version if you're running on windows and go ahead and set that one up first and install it once we run it and install it it should look something uh, like this and it should be just ready to go and ready to start now from here we're going to go and grab the next program that we need to get which is the auto hotkey so remember all the links and instructions are in the description on this video so just go down there and download all three of these programs but when you get to this web page just hit on the big uh, download option there and then click on this blue bar up the top here that says download auto hotkey installer and that will download one of the installer program files that we need and just go ahead and install that it should only just take a matter of seconds and then the last program we're going to grab here is basically the scripts editor, um, this SCITE4 auto hotkey. So when you're up here in this actual website, just click on this installer option and that will give you the last installer for all three programs that we actually do need. So uh, by now we should have all three programs installed, both the PlayStation 4 remote play, auto hotkey, and then the companion for it, which is the scripts manager. Um, and we're going to be able to confirm here now that the first two parts of the steps of iOS 6 have been done essentially so once you've done these first two steps we'll be ready to move on now i've slowed down this next part just to, so that you could see what the desktop looks like when it's fully actually filled out you should see all the programs here on the right hand side the first step you'll need to do is actually to start the remote play and get final fantasy 9 running and basically get vivi ready to start the actual jump trophy and jump rope um, segment itself and once remote play is up and running the next step would be to actually get the code up and running so open up the um s c i t e4 auto key script editor and then copy the code that i pull in this code from the form so there'll actually be a git hub link in the description below for you guys to pull it off copy the entire code and paste it as a brand new template into the script editor here so you just copy and paste the entire code into the script editor just like this this is basically the line of code that september had come up with and provided to us um so it's all credit to him again so at this stage we want to save it uh, as a file so that we can kind of run it every time that we're going to give it a, um, a try and you're better off saving it to your desktop to have easy access so you're not trying to find the file or anything like that so if you click on the icon up here to save it and i just named it final fantasy 9 and just make sure your desktop is clicked here on the left hand side and you're not saving in any documents or anything like that so just go ahead uh, give it a, a file name and then click on save and it should be straight on your desktop then we should have all the programs and the file ready to go and we're going to give this a try and see if the script actually works now slow this next process down because on the forums this is where a lot of people were tripping up so i wanted to make it as clear as possible here but this is my screen when basically nothing is running the only thing i have open is the remote play and the script editor here so when you make the and save the script as a new file it should save it as a h here in the background now if you bring up the small little arrow pointing in the bottom right hand corner that brings up a list of all the different programs that are like running in the background here 
and you can see that there's nothing running only the actual script editor itself here so when you go back and you double click on this h and um, the file that's got h uh, in a vine color and then go back here you'll see it actually the script is live in the background so we, that's how we know and can we can confirm that it is turned on so after you've done all this it just needs certain keywords and key commands for it to begin so what we'll need to do is jump back to the playstation 4 remote play screen now when you're on this screen press t that's t for tango on your keyboard and that will start the script and you'll see the word started actually appear on the screen um, just as it just has popped up there and once you see started you'll know that the script is basically running in the background so get Vivi into position at this stage you can actually press the enter key on your keyboard to talk to the girls so that's how you can control Vivi that way but once he's in this position right here now and ready to jump press the escape button on your keyboard that basically sends the command to the script to start and you're going to need to do it at exactly that time in order to sync with the time with Vivi with the script and the jumps that needs to do it so like I said you need to press T for Tango to get the script started get Vivi into position and then press escape to actually begin the entire process and as you can see here it actually does work this is the very first time I had tried it tonight when I was doing the recording and I got a really 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 good result um, from this now the results definitely do vary it's kind of a mixture of a lot of different things the biggest problem seems to be latency which is basically hardware and network latency after all since you're doing this through remote play you need to rely on your computer to your monitor to your playstation 4 and the script itself they all need to be talking at a very very quick pace if there's any sort of lag between at least one of those devices it can throw the entire script off because even 10 milliseconds over a thousand jumps can add up to be one or two seconds and that, that of course is to that will knock you off and it won't get you the trophy now the trophy is very 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 hard we can go over the kind of moral or the ethics of the trophy afterwards for me final fantasy 9 is my favorite game of all time and i am absolutely hopeless at this uh, jump rope trophy i could never do more than 50 or 60 um so uh, for me i definitely would do anything to earn the platinum on it and i was planning on earning every single other trophy and just not getting this trophy and showing other people that at least i got everything else and i love that game so much but i can't do this other bullshit trophy so once the fact that somebody had come up with an actual script to kind of get this what i consider a bullshit trophy done and out of the way I was always going to go for it because Final Fantasy 9 to me is my favorite game of all time. I've been waiting for it for years to come on PlayStation 4 and it's finally here. So as you can see there, there on the first attempt I got 249 attempts. So that was pretty good. But after each fail attempt it's important to press control and escape essentially. Control and escape stops the entire script so you'll need to start it up again. But it allows you to make any changes to the latency which is what I wanted to show you here. Now I did adjust the latency and it's something you're going to have to do um, between your tries in between each different amount. What I think is consistent is to try the one latency until you notice a pattern on where it's failing then try to figure out whether that pattern means decreasing the latency or increasing it up and down now i always got a result when i was actually bringing it down and i did get the trophy when i hit it to 839 latency so what you, after you've made the change to the latency you'll have to save the file and then double click the file on the desktop to run and open the script again so like i said after you press Control escape that completely exits the entire script and you'll have to double click the file to make it run again come back into the program get vivi back into position here like so press t on the keyboard to start and turn on the script and then press escape to start it and the actual jumping and then just go through this repeated pattern and see how far it can go for you now i got a lot of different results i got from up anywhere from anything from up to 100 up to 600 and then only once did i get above 600 and that one time i did get above 600 i went past a thousand so i was very very happy that it actually ha managed to happen it's all a mixture to do with your between your network your hardware latency so as much as you can try to eliminate the latency by adjusting the values in the script it's also completely necessary to 
for the best results to minimize the latency that you can do on your side. So that actually means having everything wired and to be honest, trying at a time at night when network traffic for your ISP, when there's not going to be a lot of people on your router or anything like that. I got a lot worse results when I was doing a video recording of this. I never managed to get above 500. I was really hoping to capture some video footage of some 500 plus jumps for you guys, but it never actually occurred. That's because I was recording at about 5 to 11 on a monday night now the previous night that i had done it i was doing it at about 1 a.m and i got a lot of better results so I, I think that has a lot to do with it as well but going wired and making these kind of changes is i think it's something that you might have to need to do some people on the forum said that this script worked for them the very first time other people are still ha trying to make the script work for them it definitely did work for me i can include i'm going to include the screenshot here at the very very end of it and i definitely would not have gotten the trophy any other way if it hadn't been from this script so i'm very very grateful for septimer for being able to provide it and the amazing community as well that i figured this kind of stuff out and that go through these type of lengths like i said i know there's going to be some people and some of the um purist out there who have done this with a controller and fair play to you you definitely are elite you've you've you should be very very proud of yourself but i mean i consider myself a competent gamer but i just think that this trophy is bullshit now i've done a lot of other bullshit trophies in my trophy hunting time so i feel like i'm owed a little bit of leeway and with this game being my favorite game of all time and I mean, I was I was almost depressed for a few days going around, moping around, knowing that I might not get the Platinum on my favorite game of all time once it finally got released on PlayStation 4 with trophies. But thanks to this script, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to take my time now and actually enjoy the game knowing that this bullshit trophy is behind me. I'm going to enjoy all the other trophies and... I know that a great weight off my shoulders has been lifted knowing that, I've, like I said, I can finally earn the Platinum for my favourite game of all time. So I hope this video has made some sense to you and I hope it helps you to get this trophy as well. If you have any questions or if it's just not working for you, leave a comment. I'll do my best to come back and uh, try to help you guys out. So thanks for uh, looking at the video and leave a like and a subscribe if it helped you. Thanks.